इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर Computers are machines that perform tasks or calculations according to a set of instructions. The computer is an electronic device that accepts that is reads data from the input device, processes the data by performing calculations and operations on it as per instructions. Generates that is writes the desired output results onto the specified output devices. Nowadays, computers are an important part of our lives. The term computer is derived from the Latin word computer, which means to compute or to calculate. It was originally invented to make calculations quickly and precisely. Major components of computer The major components of a computer are central processing unit CPU memory unit input unit output unit central processing unit CPU The CPU is the heart of the computer this unit actually executes instructions The major sections of CPU are Control Unit CU Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU Control Unit CU controls the operations that takes place in various parts of a computer by sending electronic signals Arithmetic and Logical Unit ALU it performs all arithmetic and logical operation for program execution Memory unit memory is a device that stores computer's data and programs The two types of memory are primary memory that is internal secondary memory that is external Input unit this unit is used to give data to the computer by the user Keyboard Mouse light pen joystick touch screen or few input devices output unit this unit is used to display result generated by the computer monitor printer speaker or few direct output devices history of computers During the 20th century at the initial stage calculations were done by mechanical computing devices Abacus was the first mechanical computing device introduced by the Chinese. It is a manual calculating device used for addition and subtraction. Napier's bones were the next device for multiplication by an English mathematician John Napier in the 16th century. It performs operations like multiplication, division, extracting square roots and diagonal modification Slide rule was developed by an English mathematician Edmund Gunter in the 16th century It could perform operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division In 1673, Leibniz multiplication and dividing machine were introduced which could do both multiplication and division. Pan 
French court system was developed in 1801 by Jacquard. Then, analytical machine was developed by Charles Babbage that was intended to be completely automatic. The computer has evolved from large sized that is occupying the big room, simple calculating machine to smaller that is palm sized but more powerful machines capable of doing highly complex calculations. The evolution of computers to the current state is defined in terms of generation of computers. The generation is described as a stage of technological development or innovation. The technological development in the field of computers not only refers to the improvements made to the hardware technologies but also the improvements made to the software technologies. There are typically five generations of computers based on the technology used. Generation is described as a stage of technological development or innovation. The technological development in the field of computers not only refers to the improvements made to the hardware technologies but also the improvements made to the software technologies. There are typically five generations of computers based on the technology used. Generations of computers, technology employed. First generation computer 1940 to 1956 vacuum tubes second generation computers 1956 to 1963 transistor third generation computer 1964 to 1971 integrated circuits fourth generation computer 1971 to present VLSI fifth generation computer present and beyond artificial intelligence First generation computer. The period of first generation computer was 1940 to 1956 using vacuum tubes. Hardware technology. The first generation of computers started using vacuum tubes as the basic components for memory and circuitry for CPU that is central processing unit. The input to the computer was through punched cards and paper tapes. The output was displayed as printouts. Software technology. The instructions were written in machine language which uses zeros and ones for coding of the instructions. Physical appearance. These computers were large in size and required a large room for installation. Examples EDVAC Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer EDSAC Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator UNIVAC Universal Automatic Computer ENIAC Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer Application Main application areas were scientific computation, record keeping, payroll processing, etc.
second generation computer transistors the period of second generation computer was 1956 to 1963 using transistors hardware technology transistors replaced the vacuum tubes of the first generation of computers during this generation using the transistor were cheaper consumed less power more compact in size more reliable and faster than the first generation machines the transistors were far superior to the vacuum tube compared to the first generation these computers were smaller faster and energy efficient in this generation magnetic cores were used as primary memory the magnetic tape and magnetic disk were used as secondary memory the second generation computers still relied on punched cards and printouts for outputs They used the concept of a stored program where the instructions were stored in the memory of the computer. Software technology. The instructions were written using the assembly language. assembly language used mnemonics like add for addition and sub for subtraction for coding of the instructions assembly language is easier than the machine language high level programming languages such as cobol and fortran were also developed during this period the first computer of second generation was developed for the atomic energy industry physical appearance transistors are smaller in size compared to vacuum tubes so the size of the computer was also reduced examples pdp8 ibm1401 cdc1604 and ibm7090 advantages Second generation computers moved from cryptic binary machine language to symbolic or assembly languages. This allowed programmers to specify instructions in words. Disadvantage: high cost limited to special purpose tasks. third generation computer the period of third generation was 1964 to 1971 using integrated circuits that is ics hardware technology the third generation computers used the integrated circuits that is ic chips in an ic chip multiple transistors are placed on a silicon chip Silicon is a type of semiconductor. The use of IC chip increased the speed and efficiency of computers. The keyboard and monitor were used instead of the punched cards and printouts. Software technology in this generation remote processing, time sharing, real time, multi programming operating system OS were used. Operating system allowed different applications to run at the same time. High level languages were used mostly for programming instead of machine language and assembly language. Computing characteristics: the computation time was in nanoseconds that is 10 power minus 9 second. Physical appearance: the size of these computers was quite small compared to the second generation computers. Examples: NCR three ninety five, 
IBM 360, IBM 370, PDP 11. Disadvantage, limited storage capacity, applications, computers were produced commercially and were smaller and cheaper than the first and second generation computers, used for both commercial and scientific applications. Fourth generation computer. The period of the fourth generation was 1971 to present using large scale integration LSI and very large scale integration VLSI circuits. Hardware technology. The technology used is large scale integration LSI and the very large scale integration VLSI circuits. Thousands of transistors are integrated on a small silicon chip using LSI technology. Microprocessor is a chip containing millions of transistors and components designed using LSI and VLSI technology. Semiconductor memory replaced the earlier magnetic core memory resulting in faster access to storage. Secondary storage device like magnetic disk became smaller in physical size and larger in capacity. The linking or networking of computers is another key development of this era. Software technology Several new operating systems like the MS-DOS and MS-Windows developed during this time. This generation of computers supported graphical user interface that is GUI. The GUI is a user-friendly interface that allows user to interact with a computer via menus and icons. High-level programming languages are used for writing programs. Physical appearance. They are smaller than the computers of the previous generation. Some can even fit into the palm of the hand. Examples. Intel 4004 chip was the first microprocessor. In 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh. Disadvantage The latest technology and highly skilled staffs are required for manufacturing of microprocessors, so it is difficult to build. Applications They became widely available for commercial purposes like building and computing machines. Computers became more powerful, they could be linked together to form networks which eventually led to the development of the internet usage. Fifth Generation Computer The period of fifth generation is present and beyond date using ultra large scale integration ULSI. Recent research has focused on developing the thinking computers that is artificial intelligence AI. This generation is based on parallel processing hardware and AI artificial intelligence software. Hardware technology the VLSI technology became ULSI that is ultra large scale integration technology which enabled to store millions of components on a single chip. Software technology AI that is artificial intelligence software which includes areas like expert system ES, natural language processing NLP, speech recognition, voice recognition, robotics, etc. All the high-level languages like C and C++, Java, .NET, etc. are used in this generation. Examples Robot Applications This generation of computers uses parallel processing that allows several instructions to be executed in parallel thus results in faster processing speed. The Intel Dual Core Microprocessor uses parallel processing, mainly used for high-level scientific applications in the areas of space research and defense.
Characteristics of Computer System Computers have some important features which have made them so popular. The key characteristics of computers are speed, accuracy, diligence or industrious, versatility, storage capacity. These features are basically the reasons for which the computers were originally built. Speed A computer can work at enormously high speed. Computers can process data very fast at the rate of millions of instructions per second. Some calculations that would have taken hours and days to complete by human, but it can be completed in a few seconds using the computer. For example, calculation and generation of salary slip of thousands of employees of an organization Weather forecasting that requires analysis of a large amount of data related to temperature, pressure, and humidity of various places, etc. A powerful computer is capable of performing about 3 to 4 million simple arithmetic operations per second. A unit for the speed of the processor is usually in millions of instructions per second, that is, MIPS. Accuracy The computer can produce highly accurate and reliable results. The degree of accuracy is determined by the design of the computer. Computers perform all jobs with 100% accuracy. For example, the computer can accurately give the result of division of any two numbers up to any number of decimal places as decided by the user. The errors in computer are due to human and inaccurate data. Computer as such will never make mistakes. Diligence or Industrious Computers can perform long and complex calculations with the same speed and accuracy from the start till the end. Computers are free from tiredness and lack of concentration even if it is working for a long period of time. If millions of calculations are to be performed, a computer will perform every calculation with the same accuracy. Due to this capability, it overpowers human being in the routine type of work. Versatility a computer is a very versatile machine. Computers are very flexible in performing the different jobs at the same time. This machine can be used to solve the problems relating to different fields. At one moment, the user may solve a complex scientific problem and the very next moment, user may play music or print document. Storage Capacity Storage memory is a very important characteristic of computers. Large volumes of data and information can be stored in the computer and also retrieved whenever required. Computer memory is normally classified as primary and secondary memory. A limited amount of data can be stored temporarily in the primary memory. Secondary storage devices like floppy disk, memory card, and hard disk can store a large amount of data permanently. It can store any type of data such as images, videos, text, audio, and or any other type. Disadvantages Computer can only perform tasks that it has been programmed to do. Computer cannot do any work without instructions from the user. It executes instructions as specified by the user and does not take its own decisions.
basic applications of computer. Computers play a vital important role in our daily life. Computer helps in the development of communication and information technology around worldwide. It is a social tool that adds job skills necessary for the modern world that is teach online interaction, how to type, use of programs, etc. It is also used to get information about reservation of tickets, books in a library, medical history of a person, place in a map, etc. The various applications of the computer in the field are, but not limited to, education, communication, banking, medical, scientific research, entertainment, government, business, designing. Computers are extensively used as a tool and as an aid for the education system. Educators use computers to prepare notes and presentations. In the field of teaching in particular, the wide use of computers is evident in different schools in elementary, high schools, colleges and universities. Computers used for education, which allows the students to learn modern tools and knowledge that will make users to understand possible technological changes in the future. Computers are used to develop computer-based training packages to provide distance education using the e-learning software and to conduct online examinations. Communication Communication means to send a message which may be a text explanation, information, a picture or speech that is received and understood clearly by the person for whom it is meant. The main use of the internet is to establish communication of users through computers. The communication through computers helped to know many things and also used to interact with many new peoples on social websites like Facebook, Yahoo, Orkut, Twitter, etc. At present, Satellites are used to communicate all over the world and it is controlled and operated by computers. Banking Banking is mainly depending on the computers for their transaction, that is, fund transfer. Banks also give online accounting facility, which includes current balances, deposits, overdrafts, interest charges, shares and trustee records. ATM machines controlled by computer helps a lot of people to get money from their account at any time in an easy and fast way. It helps bank to operate more efficiently and effectively. Without computers, it would be very hard for a bank to offer good customer service day in and day out. Medical Computers are now becoming an important part of all medical systems. Computers are used in hospitals to keep the records of the patients and medicines. It is mainly used for diagnosing the diseases by scanning, ECG, EEG, CT scans, etc. Nowadays, computers are also used for performing surgery. For example, keyhole surgery. Scientific research. Scientists use computers for performing complex scientific calculations, for designing and making drawings and also for simulating and testing the designs. Computers are used for storing the complex data, performing complex calculations and for visualizing three-dimensional objects for the use of researchers. Launching rockets Space exploration are the main usage of computer in the world. The development in scientific technology and new inventions by scientists are only with the help of the computers. Entertainment Computers had a major impact on the entertainment industry. 
people look forward for an entertainment and recreation to reduce their stress and strains of their complex machine-like schedules. There are many numbers of entertaining things developed with the help of computers, for example movie using animation, development of music. With the advent of the internet, computers are means of entertainment such as watching shows, movies and videos. The computers are also used to listen music, download and share music, create music using computers, etc. Government Computers are used by the government in various ways. The government uses computers to manage its own operations and also for e-governance. Government websites are more useful to the people. Computers are used to pay all the taxes online, apply for all government-related jobs, e-filing tax returns, pay electricity bills, apply for PAN, permanent account number card, apply for passports and to access property and asset related records. Business Online purchase of any items becomes the order of the day. Booking of tickets through online for flight, train, bus, movies and hotels etc. made easier. Online advertisement for buying and selling, online matrimonial for marriages, make life easier. Designing Computers are widely used in engineering design and manufacturing. Today in fashion design has reached new heights by computer-aided methods of design. New software programs continue to replace old manual skills. Computer-aided design CAD CAD, also known as Computer Aided Design and Drafting CADD, is the use of computer technology for the process of design and design documentation. Various structural engineering software is used for designing of ships, buildings, budgets, airplanes, etc. In industrial engineering, computers are used to deal with design, implementation, an improvement of integrated systems of people, materials, and equipment. In architectural engineering, computers help in planning towns, designing buildings, determining a range of buildings on a site using both 2D and 3D drawings. Central Processing Unit CPU The Central Processing Unit CPU is the brain of the computer. It is a part of a computer which interprets and executes instruction. The CPU chip is usually in the shape of a square or rectangle and has one notched corner to help place the chip into the motherboard properly. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It is also known as Microprocessor or Processor. Expansion Slots Fan Connectors SMPS Power Supply and Fan Hard disk DVD drive Floppy drive RAM The task of performing operations like arithmetic and logical operations is called processing. The CPU takes data and instructions from the storage unit and makes all sorts of calculations based on the instructions given and the type of data is provided. It is then sent back to the storage unit. It processes the instructions that it collects by decoding the code in programs. The main functions of the CPU are to fetch, decode, execute and write back. 
functional block of CPU. The two components in CPU are Arithmetic and Logic Unit ALU, Control Unit CU. Arithmetic and Logic Unit ALU The ALU performs arithmetic and logical operations. Arithmetic operations include addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Logical operations compare numbers, letters and special characters. The ALU is a fundamental building block of the central processing unit of a computer. Control Unit CU A control unit CU handles all processor control signals. It directs all input and output flow, fetches code for instructions from microprograms and directs other units and models by providing control and timing signals. Control unit is designed in two ways Hardwired control Microprogram control Hardwired control The design is based on a fixed architecture. The CU is made up of flip-flops, logic gates, digital circuits and encoder and decoder circuits that are wired in a specific and fixed way. Microprogram control Microprograms are stored in a special control memory and are based on flowcharts. They are replaceable and ideal because of their simplicity. Keyboard Keyboard is an input device. It is used to enter data into a computer and it is similar to a typewriter keyboard. Most of the keyboards have 80 to 110 keys including Typing, alphanumeric keys, a numeric keypad, function keys, control keys. Typing, that is alphanumeric keys. The typing keys include the letters of the alphabet generally laid out in the same pattern used for typewriters, which include same letter, number, punctuation and symbol keys. A numeric keypad. The numeric keypad is the most recent addition to the computer keyboard. It is handy for entering numbers quickly. The 17 keys are grouped together in a block like a conventional calculator or adding machine. Functional keys Keys that act as shortcuts for performing certain functions such as saving files or printing data. Function keys usually are lined along the top of the keyboard labeled F1 through F12. A program is capable of not only using individually each of the function keys but also combining the function keys with the ALT or CONTROL key. For example, Microsoft Windows users can press ALT plus F4 to close the program currently active. CONTROL keys These keys are used alone or in combination with other keys to perform certain actions. The most using control keys are Insert, Home, Page Up, Page Down, Delete, End, Control, Windows Key. Some of the frequently used key combinations are Control plus F4 to exit, Control plus A to select all, Control plus C to copy, Control plus V to paste, Ctrl plus B to bold, Ctrl plus S to save. Mouse 
mouse is an input device for computers. It is also called as a pointing device which contains an optical in its base. The development of graphical user interfaces GUI has made a computer mouse a standard input device. It is now practically available on any PC, personal computer. The most conventional mouse has two buttons, the left and the right click. Left one is used most frequently for clicking. The left click lets a user click once to send a select indication that provides the user with feedback that a particular position has been selected for further action. The next click on a selected position or two quick clicks on it causes a particular action to take place on the selected object. The right click usually provides some less frequently needed capability. Use of right click Right clicking an item usually displays a list of things user can do with the item. For example, when user right clicks the recycle bin on your desktop, users will see a menu with options to open it, empty it, rename it or see its properties. If you are ever unsure of what to do with something, right click it. Visual Display Unit VDU The VDU called as monitor looks like a TV screen. The monitor comprises the display device, circuitry and an enclosure. A monitor or display sometimes called a visual display unit is an electronic visual display for computers. The display device in modern monitors is typically a thin film transistor liquid crystal display TFT LCD thin panel while older monitors use a cathode ray tube about as deep as the screen size. It contains a CRT which emits the electrons to trace a regular pattern of horizontal lines on the screen. Monitors are available in 14 inches, 15 inches, 17 inches and even 21 to 30 inches in size. It is used to get the data in the form of soft copy. Their functioning is exactly similar to the television. Features of monitor Most modern monitors will switch to a power saving mode if no video input signal is received. This allows modern operating systems to turn off a monitor after a specified period of inactivity. This not only saves power consumption but also extends the monitor's service life. The monitors having the highest resolution are often used in the graphic arts and film industries etc. Development changes in monitor from beginning until now. CRT monitor LCD monitor LED monitor UHD monitor Other input devices Input devices are devices used to input data or information into a computer. An input device component such as scanner, barcode reader, joystick, touchscreen, webcam, microphone. Scanner Scanner is an input device which works more like a photocopy machine. It is used when some information is available on a paper and it is to be transferred to the hard disk of the computer for further manipulation. Barcode reader Barcode reader is a device used for reading barcoded data that is data in form of light and dark lines. Barcoded data is generally used in labeling goods, numbering the books, etc. Joystick A joystick is also a pointing device which is used to move cursor position on a monitor screen. Touch screen 
the screens are sensitive to pressure, a user interacts with the computer by touching pictures or words on the screen. Webcam A video camera connected to a computer, allowing its images to be seen by internet users. Microphone Microphone is an input device to input sound that is then stored in digital form. Scanner A scanner is an input device that scans any documents such as photographs and pages of text. Scanners are used to import a picture or document into the computer for sending or printing. Scanner works by placing the object to be scanned on the glass surface. While scanning, a camera moves across the object capturing the image and storing it on the computer. When a document is scanned, it is converted into a digital format. Scanners have become an important part of the office over the last few years where files can be sent over the internet at a faster speed. The various types of scanners are flat bed scanner, sheet fed scanner or auto feeder, handheld scanner, drum scanner. Flatbed Scanner A flatbed scanner is a type of scanner or copier that uses a flat glass surface for scanning documents or other objects. Sheet fit Scanner or Auto Feeder A sheet fit scanner is a type of scanner that scans only one piece of paper at a time and it has no room for bulky objects like books and other materials. Handheld Scanner A handheld scanner is a small scanning device used for digitizing images. Handheld scanners use the same basic technology as a flatbed scanner but rely on the user to move them instead of a motorized belt. Drum Scanner A drum scanner is a type of scanner used to capture the highest resolution of an image. Barcode Reader A barcode reader, also called as Price Scanner or Point of Sale POS Scanner. It is a handheld or stationary input device used to, to capture and read the information contained in a barcode. Like a flatbed scanner, it consists of a light source, a lens, and a light sensor translating optical impulses into electrical ones. It contains a light-sensitive detector which identifies the values of the bars on the product and converts them into numeric code. Additionally, nearly all barcode readers contain decoder circuitry analyzing the barcode's image data provided by the sensor and sending the barcode's content to the scanner's output port. These barcode readers are used in shopping malls in a very large scale to read the article code and price. Barcodes are often used to help, organize, and index information or prices about an object. A perfect example of a barcode reader is a supermarket barcode scanner that reads and locks the price of a product. There are five basic kinds of barcode readers such as pen vans, slot scanners, charge coupled device CCD scanners, image scanners, Laser Scanners Pen Wand Pen Wand is the simplest barcode reader. It contains no moving parts and is known for its durability and low cost. A pen wand can present a challenge to the user, however, because it has to remain in direct contact with the barcode, must be held at a certain angle and has to be moved over the barcode at a certain speed. Slot Scanner 
Slot scanner remains stationary and the item with the barcode on it is pulled by hand through the slot. Slot scanners are typically used to scan barcodes on identification cards. Charge coupled device CCD scanner the charge-coupled device scanner has a better read range than the pen band and is often used in retail sales. Typically, a CCD scanner has a gun-type interface and has to be held no more than 1 inch from the barcode. Each time the barcode is scanned, several readings are taken to reduce the possibility of errors. A disadvantage of the CCD scanner is that it cannot read a barcode that is wider than its input face. Image Scanner The image scanner is also called a camera reader which uses a small video camera to capture an image of the barcode and then uses sophisticated digital image processing techniques to decode the barcode. It can read a barcode from about 3 to 9 inches away and generally cause less than a laser scanner. Laser Scanner The laser scanner is either handheld or stationary does not have to be close to the barcode in order to do its job. It uses a system of mirrors and lenses to allow the scanner to read the barcode regardless of orientation and can easily read a barcode up to 24 inches away. To reduce the possibility of errors, a laser scanning may perform up to 500 scans per second. Specialized long-range laser scanners are capable of reading a barcode up to 30 feet away. Joystick A joystick is an input device consisting of a stick that pivots on a base and reports its angle or direction of the device it is controlling. A joystick, also known as the control column, it is the principal control device in the cockpit of many civilian and military aircraft, either as a center stick or side stick. It often has a supplementary switches to control various aspects of the aircraft's flight. Joysticks are often used to control video games and usually have one or more push buttons whose state can also be read by the computer. Other output devices The devices which are used to display the data or information to the user either in the form of hard copy or soft copy are called output devices. Output devices converts data from binary form to human readable form. Output devices such as printer, plotter, speaker. Printer a printer is an electromechanical device which converts the text and graphical documents from electronic form to the physical form. Generally, they are the external peripheral devices which are connected with the computers or laptops through a cable or wirelessly to receive input data and print them on the papers. A wide range of printers are available with a variety of features ranging from printing black and white text documents to high quality colored graphic images. Quality of printer is identified by its features like color quality, speed of printing, resolution, etc. Modern printers come with a multipurpose function that is, they are a combination of printer, scanner, photocopier, fax, etc. Types of printers Dot matrix printer Inkjet printer Laser printer Dot matrix printer It is a popular computer printer that prints text and graphics on the paper by using tiny dots to form the desired shapes. Inkjet printer 
Inkjet printing is a type of computer printer that creates a digital image by propelling droplets of ink onto paper, plastic or other substrates. Laser printer Laser printing is an electrostatic digital printing process that rapidly produces high-quality text and graphics by passing a laser beam over a charged drum to define a differentially charged image. Plotter The plotter is a computer printer for printing vector graphics. A plotter is a printer that interprets commands from the computer to make line drawings on paper with one or more automated pen. Plotters are much more expensive than normal printers. The plotters were the first type of printer that could print with color and render graphics and full-size engineering drawings. A plotter is a computer hardware device similar to a printer that uses a pen, pencil, marker or other writing tool to make a design. Speaker Computer speakers or multimedia speakers are speakers attached external to a computer for better sound to view video, play audio and doing some graphic entertainment work. The speakers receive audio input from a device such as a computer or an audio receiver. This input may be either in analog or digital form. Speakers are transducers that convert electromagnetic waves into sound waves. Analog speakers simply amplify the analog electromagnetic waves into sound waves. Since sound waves are produced in analog form, digital speakers must first convert the digital input to an analog signal, then generate the sound waves. The internal amplifiers require an external power source, usually an AC adapter. Speakers typically come in pairs, which allow them to produce stereo sound. This means the left and right speakers transmit audio on two completely separate channels. By using two speakers, music sounds much more natural since our ears are used to hear sounds from the left and right at the same time. Sound systems may include four to seven speakers plus a subwoofer, which creates an even more realistic experience. There are different types of speakers available according to the sound system are 2.1 speakers, 5.1 speakers, 7.1 speakers. One speakers. 2.1 speakers are basically a pair of stereo speaker and a powered subwoofer. 5.1 speakers. 5.1 speaker is the common name for six channel surround sound multi channel audio systems. 5.1 is now the most commonly used layouts in the both commercial cinemas and home theaters. It uses five full bandwidth channels and one low frequency FX channel. 7.1 speakers 7.1 speaker is a common name for an 8 channel surround audio system commonly used in home theater configurations. A 7.1 surround system splits the surround and rear channel information into four distinct channels in which sound effects are directed to left and right surround channels plus two rear surround channels.
Computer Memory Computer memory is a device that stores computer's data and programs. It stores program, data results or any kind of information. Memory stores binary information that is zeros and ones in internal storage areas in the computer. Moreover, the term memory is usually used as a shorthand for physical memory which refers to the actual chips capable of holding data. Some computers also use virtual memory which expands physical memory onto a hard disk. Unit, abbreviation, approximate value in bytes, actual value in bytes. Unit, kilobyte, abbreviation KB, approximate value 1000 bytes, actual value 1024 bytes. Unit, megabyte, abbreviation MB, approximate value 1 million bytes, actual value 10,48,576 bytes. Unit, gigabyte, abbreviation GB, approximate value 1 billion bytes, actual value 1 billion 7 million 37 lakhs 41,824 bytes. Unit terabyte abbreviation TB approximate value 1 trillion bytes actual value 10 trillion 99 billion 51 million 16 lakhs 27,776 bytes. Types of memory Primary or main memory Secondary memory Memory unit Primary memory that is internal memory Secondary memory that is external memory Under primary memory ROM, RAM Under secondary memory hard disk drive, floppy disk, optical disk drive, magnetic tape Under ROM, PROM, EPROM, EEPROM Under RAM, static RAM, dynamic RAM Under optical disk, CD, DVD Primary memory Primary memory is used for immediate access of data by the processor. Most computer systems around the world use primary memory. While primary memory storage demonstrates faster processing ability, it is costly and hence is not largely used for data storage. Primary memory can be divided into two types. RAM that is random access memory, ROM that is read-only memory. RAM – Random Access Memory RAM is the central storage unit in a computer system. It is the place in a computer where the operating system, application programs and the data in current use are kept temporarily so that they can be accessed by the computer's processor. The information stored in the RAM is typically loaded from the computer's hard disk and includes data related to the operating system and certain applications. There are primarily two forms of RAM, Static RAM, SRAM, Dynamic RAM, DRAM. Static RAM, SRAM SRAM is more expensive among other forms of RAMs. SRAM uses bistable latching circuitry to store one bit each and hence it is faster than its counterpart. Its high price prevents it from being widely used in everyday computing machines but many modern machines use SRAM as the processor's cache register. Dynamic RAM DRAM DRAM is widely used in modern computers as primary memory. DRAM is slower than SRAM but is inexpensive due to its one transistor, one capacitor paired assembly of memory storage. The example of dynamic RAM such as DDR2, DDR3 RAM. ROM read only memory. Unlike RAM, ROM is a permanent form of storage. ROM stays active regardless of whether the power supply to it is turned on or off. In spite of this, ROM was used in rare cases is still used as a primary device for most computers back in the 80s. This was because ROM devices do not allow data stored on them to be modified. 
As the name itself suggests, data can only be accessed and read by the user, not overwritten, upgraded or modified. It is an ideal choice for bootable devices for old computers, programmable interpreters and a portable OS files carrier. The system program stored on a ROM device could never be altered and hence stayed secure for use. Secondary memory Secondary memory refers to storage devices such as hard drives and solid state drives SSD. It may also refer to removable storage media such as USB flash drives, memory chips or cards, CDs and DVDs. Secondary memory is much slower than primary memory. However, it typically offers a far greater storage capacity. For example, a computer may have a 1 terabyte hard drive but only 16 GB gigabytes of RAM. That means the computer has roughly 64 times more secondary memory than primary memory. Additionally, secondary memory is non-volatile, meaning it retains its data with or without electrical power. RAM on the other hand is erased when a computer is shut down or restarted. Therefore, secondary memory is used to store permanent data such as the operating system, applications and user files. The secondary memory such as floppy disk, magnetic tape, hard disk drive, optical disk. Floppy disk not in use. These are small removable discs that are plastic coated with magnetic recording material. This portable storage device is a rewritable media and can be reused a number of times. Magnetic tape not in use. The magnetic tape is flat circular platter with metallic coating that is rotated beneath read or write heads. It is a random access device. Read or write head can be moved to any location on the platter. Hard disk drive. Another form of auxiliary storage is a hard disk. A hard disk consists of one or more rigid metal plates coated with a metal oxide material that allows data to be magnetically recorded on the surface of the platters. Splinters. Platters. Read right head, jumper, SATA connector, power connector, actuator, actuator axis, actuator arm. The hard disk platters spin at a high rate of speed, typically 5400 to 7200 revolutions per minute RPM. Storage capacities of hard disks for personal computers range from 10 GB to 120 GB, that is 1 billion bytes are called a gigabyte. Optical disk An optical disk is any storage media that holds content in digital format and is read using a laser assembly is considered optical media. The most common types of optical media are Blu-ray, CDs and DVDs. CDs can store up to 700 megabytes MB of data. DVDs can store up to 8.5 GB of data. Blu-ray discs, which are the newest type of optical media, can store up to 50 GB of data. Computers can read and write to CDs that is compact disc and DVDs that is digital video disc using a CD writer or DVD writer drive and a Blu-ray is read with a Blu-ray drive. Drives such as a CD-R, CD recordable and a DVD-R, DVD recordable drive that can read and write information to discs are known as magneto-optic that is MO. Hardware Definition 
Computer hardware is the collection of physical parts of a computer system. This includes the computer case, monitor, keyboard and mouse. It also includes all the parts inside the computer case such as the hard disk drive, motherboard, video card and many others. Computer hardware is the physical component like motherboard, ROM, RAM that connects the computer system. In other words, computer hardware is the mechanical, electronic and electrical components that make up a computer system and controlled by software or operating system. Computer hardware refers to the components of a computer such as the monitor, mouse, keyboard, computer data storage, hard drive disk HDD, etc. Components of hardware there are many different kinds of hardware that can be installed inside and connected to the outside of a computer. Internal hardware device External hardware device Internal hardware device The internal hardware devices that are installed inside CPU include motherboards, hard drives and RAM. External hardware devices The external hardware devices can be viewed outside it includes the central processing unit, keyboard, mouse, speaker, webcam, microphone, etc. A perfect example of hardware is a computer monitor which is an output device that lets user to see what you are doing on the computer. Without any hardware, your computer would not exist and software would not be able to run. Computer hardware devices are used to perform two critical tasks giving input instructions to the computer, getting output data from the computer. Software Definition Computer software, often called just software, is made of one or more computer programs. Sometimes, it means one specific program or it can mean all the software on a computer including the applications and the operating system. Software is a collection of instructions that enables the user to interact with a computer. This set of instructions is often called as a program. A program is a sequence of instructions written to solve a particular problem. The software is all the instructions written for the computer's hardware to function properly. For example, without your internet browser software, user cannot browse the internet or read this page and without a software operating system, the browser would not be able to run on the user's computer. Program A final set of sequence of instructions Software is often packaged on CD-ROMs and diskettes or downloaded from the internet. Today, much purchased software is downloaded over the internet. Examples of computer software are Windows Operating System Microsoft Office Device Driver Software Assembler and Compiler Software Types of Software there are two categories of software. They are application software, system software. Application software. Application software is a computer software designed to help the user to perform singular or multiple related specific tasks. They act as instructions which direct the hardware to perform specific functions. Application software cannot be operated, unable to run without the operating system and system utilities. Application software can be used as a productivity or business tool to assist with graphics and multimedia projects. Examples of application software are Microsoft Word Macromedia Freehand Adobe Photoshop CorelDRAW Note, 
above mentioned software or logos are of respective vendors. Types of application software General purpose application software is designed to satisfy common needs of various businesses such as word processing software, database software, multimedia software, educational software, application suites. Word processing software Word processing software enables user to create and edit documents. The most popular of this type of software are MS Word, WordPad. Database software A database is a structured collection of data. This database software allows the users to store and retrieve data from databases. Examples are MS Access, FileMaker Pro and AppleWorks etc. Multimedia Software The multimedia software allows the users to create and play audio and video files. They are capable of playing all types of media files. Example of this type of software are Windows Media Player and Realtek Real Player. Educational Software the educational software has the capabilities of running tests and tracking progress. It also has the capabilities of collaborative software. This type of software is often used in teaching and e-learning. Some of the well-known dictionaries like Britannica and Kata are using this software. Application Suits an application suite consists of a group of applications combined to perform related functions. These application suites come as a bundle of applications like word processor, spreadsheets, presentation software, etc. Features of application software Application software is close to users. This software is easy to understand and manipulate. Application software is easy to design. System software Definition System software is a set of instructions that serves primarily as an intermediary between computer hardware and application programs and may also be directly manipulated by knowledgeable users. It makes the operation of a computer system more effective and efficient. System software provides important self-regulatory functions for computer systems such as Loading itself when the computer is first turned on. Managing hardware resources such as secondary storage for all applications and Providing commonly used sets of instructions for all applications to use. Without using the system software, there may be no computer program that can be run on a computer system. So, the system software is an important or indispensable part of the computer system. Types of system software Operating system OS Utility programs Operating system OS Operating system is an important system software found almost in all computers. Operating system is defined as the program that instructs the computer how to work with its various components. It helps to manage files and checks the various peripheral devices such as printers, monitors, etc. The OS itself is a collection of programs. These programs translate our instructions to the computer's language and then translate the computer's response from computer's language to the user understandable form. Utility programs Utility software is a type of system software designed to help analyze, configure, optimize and maintain the computer. 
A single piece of utility software is usually called a utility or tool. Utility software should be confused with application software which allows users to do things like creating text documents, playing games, listening to music or surfing the web. Utility software usually focuses on how the computer infrastructure that is including the computer hardware, operating system, application software and data storage operates. Due to this focus, utilities are often rather technical and targeted at people with an advanced level of computer knowledge. Examples of utility software includes Virus scanner to protect your system from trojans and viruses. Disk defragmenter to speed up your hard disk. System monitor to look at your current system resources. File managers to add, delete, rename and move files and folders. Features of system software such as the system software is faster in speed, smaller in size. System software is generally written in low-level language. Difference between application software and system software. Subject Application software System software Definition Application software is computer software designed to help the user to perform a specific task. System software is computer software designed to operate the computer hardware and to provide a platform for running application software. Purpose Classification It is specific purpose software, packaged program, customized program, it is general purpose software, time sharing, resource sharing, client server, Batch Processing Operating System Real-Time Operating System Environment Application software performs in an environment which created by system or operating system. System software has own environment to run itself and run other application. Execution Time It executes as and when required. It executes all the time in computer. Number Application is not essential for a computer. System software is essential for a computer. Essentiality The number of application software is much more than the system software. The number of system software is less than the application software. Programming languages A programming language is a set of commands, instructions and other syntax used to create a software program. Languages that programmers use to write code are called high-level languages. The code written in high-level language can be compiled into a low-level language which is recognized directly by the computer hardware. The most basic computer language is the machine language that is low level that uses binary that is zeros and ones code which a computer can run or execute very fast without using any translator or interpreter program. The high level languages such as C, Java are much simpler to use but need to use another program, a compiler or an interpreter to convert the high level code into the machine code and are therefore slower. The earliest programming languages preceded the invention of the computer and were used to direct the behavior of machines. Thousands of different programming languages have been created mainly in the computer field and many more still are being created every year. The description of a programming language is usually split into the two components such as syntax that is form and semantics that is meaning.
Types of Programming Languages Different languages have different purposes, so it makes sense to talk about different kinds or types of languages. Some of the types are Machine Languages, Assembly Languages, High Level Languages. Machine Languages Machine language is the only language that a computer understands. Each statement in a machine language program is a sequence of bits. Each bit may be set to 0 or 1. Machine language is a low-level programming language. It is easily understood by computers but difficult to read by people. A series of bits represents instructions that a computer can understand. For example, the number 455 is represented by the bit sequence 111000111. Programs written in high-level languages are compiled and or interpreted that is converted into machine language that is zeros and ones so computers can execute them. Advantage of machine language the only advantage is that program of machine language run very fast because no translation program is required for the CPU. Disadvantages of machine language It is very difficult to program in machine language. The programmer has to remember a lot of code to write a program which results in program errors. It is difficult to debug the program. Assembly Languages Assembly language is a representation of machine language. The program is in alphanumeric symbols instead of zeros and ones. The programs written in other than the machine language need to be converted to the machine language. Translators are needed for conversion from one language to another language. Assemblers are used to convert assembly language program to machine language. Every processor has its own assembly language. The alphanumeric symbols are called mnemonics in the assembly language. The add, sub, mul, div, etc. are some symbols called mnemonics. Advantages of assembly language the symbolic programming in assembly language is easier to understand and saves a lot of time and effort by the programmer. It is easier to correct errors and modify program instructions. Disadvantages of assembly language One of the major disadvantages is that the assembly language is machine dependent. A program written for one computer might not run on other computers with different hardware configuration. High-level languages Procedure-oriented languages are high-level languages. These languages are employed for easy and speedy development of the program. The disadvantages observed with assembly languages are overcome by high-level languages. The programmer does not need to remember the architecture and registers of a CPU for developing a program. The compilers are used to translate high-level language program to machine language. High-level languages are designed to be used by the human operator or the programmer. High-level language does not require addressing hardware constraints to a greater extent when developing a program. High-level languages have the following features such as easier to write, easier to read, Easier to maintain, portable can across different CPU families, supports a wide range of data types. 
examples of high level languages are C, C++, Java, Python, etc. Advantages of high level language Testing and debugging a program is easier than in the assembly language. Portability of a program from one machine to other. Disadvantages of high level language a disadvantage of high level language is that they are usually less powerful and less efficient since statements are busy. High level languages also need to be compiled and or interpreted into machine language before execution. Computer number system The data input given to the computer in the form of digits, alphabets, symbols, video, audio, etc. is understood by computer only as zeros and ones. It converts all input data into zeros and ones. Each character is represented as a unique combination of zeros and ones. Number system is a way to represent a number. Number system used in the computer and is classified into Decimal number system Binary number system Octal number system Hexadecimal number system Number system Decimal Binary Octal Hexadecimal Counting using fingers based in system 0 to 9 to shorten long binary numbers base 8, 0 to 7. For computers, since flip-flops store either 0 or 1 base 2 of 0, 1. Since data is stored in bytes, base 16, 0 to 9, A to F. Decimal number system. The prefix DC stands for 10. The decimal numbers are specified with base or radix 10, for example, 3456 base 10 or 3456. It consists of 10 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Representation of place values. In the decimal number system, the successive position to the left of the decimal point represents units, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. Digits representation of decimal number Example 1 in this example, decimal number 5319 base 10 shows weight of each digit is a power of 10. Each digit also has position number. The first digit on the right is 0, the next digit is 1 and so on. Binary number system The prefix by stands for 2 The binary numbers are specified with base or radix 2 because it contains only two numbers, zeros and ones for example, 10011 base 2 Digits representation of binary number The leftmost bit is called most significant bit MSB and the rightmost bit is called least significant bit LSB. Example
octal number system. The number system with base or radix digit 8 is known as an octal number system. This system consists of 8 digits that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. In this system, the largest single digit is 7 which is 1 less than the base. Each position in this number system represents a power of the base number 8. The following table explains weight and weight values of octal number. To represent an octal digit in a binary system, 3 bits that is 2 power 3 is equal to 8 are sufficient. Example the binary equivalent of 26.2 base 8 is 10110.01 base 2. Hexadecimal number system. The number system with base or radix digit 16 is known as hexadecimal number system. This system requires 16 digits to represent the number. The first 10 digits or digits of the decimal system from 0 to 9 and remaining 6 digits are denoted by A to F which representing decimal values 10 to 15 where A is equal to 10, B is equal to 11, C is equal to 12, D is equal to 13, E is equal to 14, F is equal to 15. Digits representation of a hexadecimal number Example, conversion of binary to hexadecimal. Conversion of decimal to binary. The easiest way to convert decimal to its binary equivalent is to use division algorithm. Divide by 2. Keep track of the remainder at each step. Put a remainder bit as 0 if that number gets divided by 2. Put a remainder bit as 1 if that number not divided by 2. The binary equivalent of 67 base 10 is 10000011 base 2. Conversion of binary to decimal. Multiply each bit by 2 power n, where n is weight of bits. The weight is the position of the bit which starts from 0 on the right, then 1 and goes on. Add the result. Decimal equivalent of 11010 base 2 is 26 base 10. Conversion of binary to hexadecimal. Example, group bits in 4s starting from the right. Convert to hexadecimal digits. To convert 10110101111 base 2 to hexadecimal, just substitute the codes. The hexadecimal equivalent of 10110101111 base 2 is 2C7 base 16. Now hexadecimal to binary. Convert each hexadecimal digit to a 4-bit equivalent binary representation. To convert 10AF base 16 to binary, just substitute the codes. The binary equivalent of 10AF base 16 is 0001000001011 base 2. Concept of Data Processing Data Processing 
data processing is the process in which the information is gathered or collected and stored in the form of electronic media and manipulated into a more useful form. Data processing cycles The data processing cycle consists of the following steps. Input Processing Output Storage Input In this step, the input data are coded or converted into machine-readable form so that it can be processed through a computer. Processing Input data are changed and combined with other information to produce data in a more useful form. The actual data manipulation techniques such as classifying, sorting, calculating, summarizing, comparing, etc. that convert data into information. Output it transmits results from previous steps after processing of data. It depends on the use of a particular type of data. Sometimes output also needs decoding activity which converts into a user-readable form. Storage The gathered output is stored in physical storage devices for future use. Functions of data processing The four major functions of data processing of a computer are Validating Sorting Analyzing Reporting Validation Validating of data helps user to identify invalid cases variables and data values in the particular data set. After validation, data will be clean, correct and useful. Sorting Arranging data in a specific order is called sorting. Sorting alphabetical order For example, names in telephone book are sorted in alphabetical order. Analyzing It is the process in which the data is organized, reviewed, verified and interpreted. Reporting In this function, a collection of data is condensed and certain conclusions from the data are represented in a simple form. Application of IECT IECT stands for Information Electronics Communication Technology 
It is a branch of DOE ACC that is Department of Electronics and Accreditation of Computer Courses Society dealing with the training of government sponsored program in Computer Fundamentals Operating System MS Office Troubleshooting Maintenance of PC It is used in various sectors to generate quality of manpower. Governments are specialized institutions that contribute to governance. Representatives of government seek and receive citizen support but they also need the active cooperation of their public servants. Governance is the outcome of politics, policies and programs. E-Governance What is E-Governance? The term E-Governance is wider than government. Governance may be an activity of governing or controlling a country by its government similar to controlling an organization or a company by its CEO or board of directors or controlling a household by the head of the house. E-governance therefore means the application of IECT to transform the efficiency, effectiveness, transparency and accountability of exchange of information and transaction between governments, between government agencies, between government and citizens, between government and businesses. E-governance also claims to empower people through giving them access to information. E-governance uses a range of modern information and communication technologies such as Internet, Mobiles or Tablet, Laptops or Computers. Objectives of e-governance The objectives or aims of e-governance are to build an informed society, to increase government and citizen interaction, to encourage citizen participation, to bring transparency in the governing process, to make the government accountable, to reduce the cost of governance. To reduce the reaction time of the government. These are implemented by government to improve the effectiveness, efficiency, service delivery and to promote an effective and efficient democracy. Scope of e-governance Governance is all about the flow of information between the government and citizens, government and businesses, and government to government. E-governance also covers all these relationships as follows. Government to citizen, G to C. Citizen to government, C to G. Government to government, G to G. Government to Business G to B Advantages of e-governance Following are the advantages of e-governance Speed Technology makes communication speeder Internet, phones, cell phones have reduced the time taken in normal communication Cost reduction
most of the government expenditure is appropriated towards the cost of stationery. Paper-based communication needs lots of stationery, printers, computers, etc., which call for continuous heavy expenditure. Internet and phones make communication cheaper and valuable money for the government. Transparency Use of IECT makes governing process transparent. All the information of the government would be made available on the internet. Accountability Once the governing process is made transparent, the government is automatically made accountable. Accountability is answerability of the government to the people. An accountable government is a responsible government. Multimedia A media which combines different content forms of text, audio, video, animation, interactive features, still images to get a finished product is defined as multimedia. Multimedia is the integration of multiple forms of media. Multimedia uses computers to present in various ways and combinations made possible through the advancement of technology. For example, multimedia presentation involves audio and video clips. Multimedia software involves animations, sounds and text. Multimedia systems A basic multimedia system includes input devices and software, output devices, backing storage, input devices and software. Input devices include keyboard, mouse, scanners, and optical character recognition software that is OCR microphone voice recognition software digital camera digital camera software video camera output devices output devices include Monitor, speakers, sound cards, data projectors, backing storage. To store multimedia presentation, user need backing storage. Some of the devices used for backing storage are hard disk, floppy disk, Compact disk, USB flash drive. Advantages of multimedia It improves learning process, the sense that the user can sit and watch the presentation, read the text, and hear the audio. It is user friendly to create 2D and 3D videos and games. Popular software used in multimedia design are 2D that is two-dimensional animation tools, Flash, Photoshop, etc. 3D that is three-dimensional animation tools, Autodesk Maya, Adobe Premiere, etc. Applications of multimedia Multimedia can be used in a variety of ways and fields. It is being used to create interactive websites. It makes online user more interesting because it uses different building to make a web page. 
education. It can be used as a source of information. Teachers can use multimedia presentation to make lessons more interesting. It is used to produce computer-based training courses. Entertainment It is heavily used in the entertainment industries, especially to add special effects in movies and animation. Multimedia games are popular pastimes. Nowadays, animated films are becoming more popular than ever before. Examples of 3D movies are Avatar, Iron Man and X-Men. Scientific researchers Simulation and modeling of new equipment are demonstrated with the help of multimedia. Multimedia entertainment applications aim at diverting users, engaging them in amazing experiences such as reading books. User can read novels and any kind of books just like real books, then able to click on links throughout the text. Take a note and type directly on documents. It will take user to maps, videos and anything else. Listening to music People use music as a form of entertainment. iTunes is the famous mobile application developed by Apple. It is used to download and play audios and videos. Windows Multimedia Player VLC are famous software used to listen music. Devices used to listen music are mobile, headset, iPod, speakers, etc. Enjoying videos Devices used to watch videos are monitor, tabs, laptops, etc. VLC, flash movie player, etc. or software used to play video. Playing games Flash is one of the best 2D animation software used to make 2D video games. For example, Aladdin video game is created with the help of Flash software.